Welcome to our demo of the EPM ServiceNow integration. Today, we'll demonstrate how to request and approve just-in-time access and elevation using EPM and ServiceNow. We will first show the manual approval flow. The first step is on the end user's device. We'll open up the EPM control panel and specify the request for admin privileges. In the, in the justification box, you can provide details about why you need this just-in-time access. Next, we'll open up the EPM console where we can see the new request being created after we refresh the events inbox. ServiceNow periodically pulls the events from EPM and creates the corresponding ServiceNow request tickets. For the sake of this demo, we're manually executing the ServiceNow scheduled query. Typically, this runs according to a predefined timeframe. Once executed, we can open up the EPM request within ServiceNow and see the new request ticket for the user who requested just-in-time access and elevation. On the ticket, we can specify configurations, such as the default duration of the just-in-time access. After clicking Approve and Update, the EPM just-in-time application policy is automatically created. You'll see that the request moves to complete. Back in the EPM console, we navigate to the user policies and see that the new policy has been created through ServiceNow for the specific user and the duration requested. On the end user device, temporary user permissions are now granted. This was the first flow where manual approval is required. Now let's look at the second option, leveraging automatic approval based on an existing ticket within ServiceNow. To demonstrate the end-to-end -end flow, first we navigate to the ServiceNow platform and see an existing incident ticket for the user that is going to request just-in-time access and elevation. In the integration, we'll check if the user that requested the just-in-time access and elevation matches the user that is on the existing ServiceNow ticket. We open up the EPM console on the end user's device and request admin privileges. But now we define the incident that already existed within ServiceNow. Similar to the first flow, ServiceNow will pull all the events from, from EPM. But now we're also parsing the existing ticket that was def defined in the justification box. When we open up the EPM console, we can again see that a new event was being created. ServiceNow automatically queries all the events created within EPM. But for the demo, we'll execute this manually but it typically runs on a period periodic interval. When we open up the tickets for the uh, just-in-time access and elevation, we can already see that the ticket was, was approved based on the automatic approval using the existing incident ticket. It then moves to complete and the EPM policy is created automatically without any human intervention. We can now see that the end user has been granted just-in-time access and elevation. The integration between EPM and ServiceNow allows you to easily grant just-in-time access and elevation, either manually or using automatic approvals using existing tickets within ServiceNow.